About two weeks ago, The Verge published a hit piece on the SEO industry, dubbing them the people who ruined the internet. Although this expanded to pretty much all marketers at one point, The Verge spent over 8,000 words detailing how content goblins make it impossible to find relevant information. It refers to the SEO industry as jerks who degrade our collective sense of reality. Basically, the girl writing this article hates affiliate links and ads. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how The Verge is doing exactly how they complain about in this article and how you can benefit from it. You know the saying, marketers ruin everything. This article from The Verge is basically a dissertation on that concept. And to be fair, I do ruin everything. It's important to remember that if you are using a free product, then you are the product. Even though Google makes a ton of money, they have a ton of expenses and need substantial revenue to keep the lights on. They do this by selling you shit. And the same with Meta, Pinterest, Twitter, etc. While I have no problem with the average Joe complaining about this, I do have a problem with The Verge complaining about this. Since SEO is a serious revenue driver. The funny part about this is that journalists are complaining about the internet being ruined and search results being useless, but they are profiting from it more than anyone due to their domain authority and the ability to spit out random affiliate articles that makes them millions of dollars a month by ranking highly competitive terms like best cell phone. Sure, your 8,000 word hit piece is great, but you guys are making money from your best earbuds content, not gaslighting content writers, which is most of the employees at The Verge, or your thoughts on drinks will ever catch on. Before I show you how The Verge is abusing SEO to pad their margins, we need to talk about the DGENs deal. I spend thousands of dollars every week trying all kinds of weird shit to entertain and educate you guys. I also blew up a partnership with the DR90 site because I talked about it on YouTube. And guess what? I'm gonna keep doing it because it gets the people going. The insane part is I'm doing this completely for free. This is legitimately the only part of my day I'm not charging someone for. Because of that, I'm gonna ask you guys to smash the like button and the subscribe button. This is the only way I know that people are actually getting value from me ranting about everything I'm doing, taking the heat from my partners and team for literally giving it all away. If the channel gets big enough, we might get into Hampton and this will evolve into the gentleman's agreement. But for now, it's the DGEN's deal. All right, back to how The Verge is making seven figures a month from SEO affiliate articles. Take a look at some of The Verge's top content. You can see they are ranking outrageously competitive terms like best earbuds, best laptop, best cell phone, and pretty much any keyword targeting a gadget with an affiliate link. Let's take a look at this example for best cell phone. Seems like the metadata is pretty well optimized to me. I would bet my custom rate card that the 2023 in the title is automatically updated to 2024 on December 31st. Looking through the content, you can see that they have a table of contents and what am I looking for box meant to force feed Google eat signals to get them to rank. And it looks like it's working perfectly, not exactly user-friendly or organic. When you look at the table of contents, you can tell it was made to hit the most popular long tail keywords. Try searching for best phone for $500 on my computer. It's the verge. You have to scroll down nearly halfway down the article to get to the actual reviews, classic SEO. And once you do, what do you see? Affiliate links are seated in literally every product in the article. Every link is an affiliate link. And if they can't get affiliate links from multiple platforms, then the only thing they show is Amazon. I would love to see what their custom rate card is set to. This really isn't the best phone review. It's the best cell phone affiliate program review. I do this stuff all day. So I have no problem with it, but it's hard to read this 8,000 word dribble from a company that is doing this kind of thing every single day. And it's likely one of their top three revenue streams. Take a look at the Verge's ethics statement. Our reviews always contain honest, independent assessments from our editorial team. It's just a coincidence that every product we review in our listicles happen to be part of an affiliate program we signed up for. So what can you learn from this? News sites and journalists are the primary beneficiaries of this current state of SEO. It's a symbiotic relationship. These news sites write about politics and other unmonetizable content all day, which gives them credibility in Google's eyes. 
This allows them to rank and bank for hundreds, sometimes even thousands of highly competitive commercial keywords that would make them millions. Just try searching for best pickleball paddle, best dog food, or best face wash. 90% of the results on page one are highly authoritative news sites. Also, how the hell is Forbes ranking for all these things? My time trying to form partnerships with large sites like these because they can pretty much rank for anything. And I want to fly private in 2024. You can do this too. It doesn't have to be a partnership with Forbes. Reach out to your local news site and try to see if you can rank locally for things like best apartments or best chiropractors. Then charge local companies for these leads. Heck, it doesn't even have to be a news site. It could be a popular restaurant, museum, local college, or honestly, any other business that has enough domain authority to throw its weight around the geo. Running a local parasite campaign is like shooting fish in a barrel. You don't need a forest placement to dominate. Although I did that too, which you can watch in this video. If you do decide to do this, building a few links can be worth their weight in gold. If you don't know where to start, check out my agency, Indexy. This is what I use to build links on all my sites, partnership subfolders and parasite campaigns. You can get started for as little as $85 and my team is happy to do a quick audit for you and your use case to make sure you're getting the most out of our services and not wasting any money. The biggest issue SEOs have collectively is that they are afraid to pick up the phone or walk into a business pitching their services. Everybody wants to make money. If you have a legit offer, most people will take you up on it. A restaurant can rank for recipe keywords, a library could rank for book reviews, and a small university could rank for practically anything locally. Just compare your domain traffic for your current site to what is currently ranking in the SERP. You'll be surprised how easy it is to rank for best divorce lawyer in city relative to best creatine. I created a breakdown of exactly how I leverage my local partnerships in this video. If you want the A to Z walkthrough. There is so much free real estate out there. It's crazy. All you have to do is pick up the phone or send an email. For some no-name town in Nebraska, it's stupid easy. Take action today. If you don't, someone else will.